I have picked up a number of chargers from the Dollar Tree. And you know, these are plastic. I'm just going to wipe them off. And then what I'm going to do, because I'm going to want to paint these and um, even paint that's made for plastic like this one is not going to adhere really well and bond to the plastic unless you roughen this up a little. So I'm going with some fine, not ultra fine, but fine sandpaper. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a sand. I want to make sure that I get it down right in here. It's going to be one of the harder places to sand to get that finish off of it. And when you've wiped it off, you'll be able to see where you might need a, to sand it just a little bit more because you want to make sure that spray paint sticks. I've set myself up here with some cardboard to protect my driveway. And I'm just going to give each of my chargers a nice light coat of spray paint, let that um, dry, and then I will give it another light coat. After you've painted all of your chargers and they've had a chance to thoroughly dry, the next thing that we're going to do is, if you have some cardstock, you can use it. I didn't have any cardstock, but I had paper plates. So I thought those would work. And I just took a small um, salad plate or appetizer plate and put it down in my paper plate. And this is just so you can get a piece of you know, like I said, a heavy card stock or card, a thin cardboard and trace the circle. And then I'm just going to cut out the circle to trace around. And this is just an easy way to do it. So we have our circle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half, just like so. And then we're going to cut it in half. Then we're going to fold it again and we're going to cut that in half. And then we're going to do it one more time until our pieces are this size. I'm going to take these, I'm going to take my charger now, and I'm going to lay these out on my charger. Pretty, pretty bad much back towards the rim of these. And some of these I've already traced around so because I thought that would be easier for you to see them. Okay, there we go. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take an acrylic paint pen. We're just gonna use our little cardboard and trace around the edge around the top and the reason I would make eight of these and not just try one and move it around is because you want to have your spacing correct so there we have looks like we're cutting out pizza I don't want to smear any of that so I'm just gonna take it and dump the pieces Yep, that one's stuck dump the pieces off and here we have our um, little traces for places for us to paint within. You're gonna grab some orange paint for the oranges, uh, any brand that you like. And then I'm just gonna go to town, a fairly stiff, fairly fine brush. And I'm going to just start painting in my sections. The one thing about painting this project you can remember that it does not have to be exact because you're painting fruit. Fruit is a natural product and it's not going to be perfect. Each one is going to be unique. But I do like to keep a really thin coat. I don't want it to be built up into little ridges of acrylic paint. And we can always go back and add more. But for most of the piece, the each wedge, I guess I'll call them, um, I want to keep most of my um, strokes going up and down like this, just like 
the inside of a piece of fruit would the um, pulp would be. Now, if I want to come back later and fix little parts like that, I can just come back with some white um, acrylic paint. So now I'm just going to go to town uh, painting all of my sections. If you are ready for some bright color after the long winter, this is just the project for you. So we have our chargers that I painted, all the lemon and orange, and I'm going to go ahead and set these out on our table, alternating the lemon slices with the orange slices. And I'm going to use, because I want to show off my pretty chargers, I'm just going to use clear dinner plates. These are by Anchor Hawking, so you can find these. I bought them on Amazon, just like that. But I never do this, but I thought I wanted to add the color up, so I am using, putting my napkins right in my water glasses and trying to think. I think I'll go ahead and keep the orange with the orange, but you could do it either way. This is gonna be a lemon one. Lemon, orange, lemon. And then we're gonna get to our centerpiece because I have all of this stuff laying out at the end of the table that I'm going to use for my centerpiece. So our table is set. That's really simple. And I picked up on sale a couple of just green artificial garlands. And I'm gonna see how long down the center of the table they go. And if you saw the orange topiaries that I made um, in the fall, wait till you see. I'm very big on wanting to reuse everything. So I'm gonna tuck these little loops. I don't wanna cut, see these? These are great for hanging your garlands and I don't need them right now, but I don't wanna cut them off. You could snip them off if you want to, but I don't want to. I want, might wanna hang those at a later date. So that gave me a base of green. And then I had those orange topiaries and I just pulled the oranges and the greenery out and I'm gonna go ahead down the length of my garland and just tuck the oranges in. I wanna cover up the stem. I had nice greenery on there so it'll build up the greenery that I already have. And I have a lot of these oranges so I can add a whole bunch of them. I'll hide that hook there. So I have my oranges all the way down and this is the bowl that I said I keep on my kitchen counter. These are artificial lemons. So I'm just gonna go right along and add the lemons just like I did the oranges. And this is going to be a beautiful citrus themed table. You don't have to add quite as much fruit to your table if you don't want to, or you could keep it all one theme. And you can also use um, fresh fruit if you want. You don't have to use artificial, but I already had these on hand. And I really believe in using things that you already have on hand if you can. And these just go so well with the chargers. So here is our beautiful citrus table, all in your orange and yellow, ready to greet guests with all this bright color. After a long winter, this is just the thing, don't you think? And here are our easy DIY chargers displayed so prettily under clear glass plates. So I hope you like this project and it might be something you try Remember, you don't have to make fruit slices. You can customize your chargers any way you want. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Home Talk.